Let's learn about one of the features in Excel tables. Tables is one of the features used more regularly nowadays. If you're maintaining lists of information, table is a great feature. Our products worksheet here has a list of products. We can store this list as an official Excel table. We have used the term table so far in general context. Generally, a table is a rectangular set of data. We have columns representing certain attributes and rows representing different instances of an entity. For example, here, each column in our products list here represents attribute of books, and then each row is actually representing a different instance, which means different book. Excel allows us to convert this list into an official table. And when we do that, Excel will provide us with additional functionality. We are going to learn more about these tables now. So let me just delete these extra columns that we don't need anymore. And I'm going to delete. And I'm also going to delete these values, which we don't need. OK, so now I'm going to save this. And now we have this nice little list here of products. As we have studied before, a group of cells is called a range. A rectangular range of cells can be converted into an Excel table. Rectangular means, for example, here, this is a rectangle. Let's say we want to convert this into a table. And I'm going to show you how. But before that, we will actually copy this worksheet create a copy and just put it right next to the products and now let's call this products table worksheet and now I'm going to convert this into a table the reason why I'm, I copied and then created another um, worksheet is because I want us to be able to compare this tab table that we're going to create with a range before so this is the new copy and I'm going to convert this into a table so insert table and there's also the shortcut control T if you want to use it and once I do that Excel is asking me where is the data for your table and since we had already selected this range it's asking us whether this is the range and does our table have headers so here the first row has the heading or the has the column names or field names and this is our header so we are telling Excel that yes my table has headers and we'll say okay and now Excel has converted it into a table and there are a few things that you observe very immediately first the formatting of the cells have changed second you will notice that these are arrows in the header row and then you will also notice that a new ribbon has appeared and which is the design ribbon under table tools. So we have a few style options here where we can ask Excel to have a header row or not have a header row or have banded rows or just not having banded rows. We can also ask Excel to format the first column or the last column here in bold font and then we can also have banded columns and let me take this off so banded columns are alternate shaded um, columns and now I'm going to click here because I don't want banded columns and the interesting piece here is the total row so if I select the total row Excel will add a row at the bottom of this table and it will try to summarize the data for us. For example, here, I'm going to click on this cell and I can choose this drop down menu, which will say, you know, do I want to sum this column? Do I want to take an average? Let's say average. So it will calculate the average. If I want to do a count of the values here, that's easy. If I want to do a maximum of this. So you can do this for all these other columns as well. And there are certain cases where you know some functions don't make sense for example doing an average here for the text values here do not make sense but otherwise 
for the for the value for the columns where you have numeric values you can definitely leverage this option i don't need this option right now so i'm i can easily remove it by clicking the total row and and finally on the right side here, you also have the different style options here where you can choose how you want the table to appear. So you can choose any of these different colors and settings available. And on the left side, you can give this table a name. You can change the size of the table here. And when you click resize, Excel will show what is your source of this table or what is your table data now and you can change it. You can also remove duplicates easily. And if you click duplicates, Excel will give you how should I identify duplicates and you can choose the columns by which you want to identify duplicates and then click OK and then Excel will delete the duplicates from this table. And you can also convert this table back into a normal range. If you don't want to have the table functionality, you can definitely convert this into a range very quickly with this click. And you can also use the table as a source for pivot table. For example, if I click here to summarize with pivot table, the Excel will try to create a pivot table using this table as the source. And all the other steps will be just like what we studied in the previous videos about pivot tables. Now the source, instead of it being a range, it is a table. And when there's a huge benefit of this, which we'll talk about in a few minutes, but this is how you can create a pivot table very easily from a table.